Hi, thank you for joining me as I make this video that I really don't want to make. So my husband has COVID and it was just the weirdest thing. It started off with back pain and it was really bad back pain. I mean, I was helping him down the stairs and that, that's how bad it was. Cause you know how men can be? I don't need no help, I'm a big strong man. So on Thursday, the next day, he went to the doctors to see what was wrong. And when he got there, they did the temperature check like they always do, cause we're in a pandemic. And lo and behold, he had a fever and you can guess what happened next. Spoiler alert, the test was positive and now we are in isolation. I'm getting my test done tomorrow and I just really, really hope that it's negative because I have a two-year-old and I would just hate to see him go through this. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you my husband's room that he's staying in. He's isolated to that room for the next 10 days and currently he's in the bathroom so I'm taking this opportunity just to show you guys the room because he would probably kill me if I taped him and I want to live another 50 years, so let's go. So as you can tell, this bed has been well loved today as he's done a lot of napping. The virus has made him very tired. He's got his tissues and he's been using them. All right, let's get out of this COVID infested place. All right, I got two COVID essentials. If you're the person who doesn't have COVID or if you're the person who does, I'm on my way to my appointment, sitting at a red light, about to get tested. Let's hope I'm negative. To speak with a member of our staff, please press 4 for questions. And what reason are we testing? My husband has COVID. So you don't have any symptoms? Correct? No, I don't. Okay, we do have like three rooms that are getting ready to discharge. So it shouldn't be that long, okay? And then we'll be giving you a call to come on in. Okay, thank you. Yeah, so good news. My paperwork. See, this is why you shouldn't try to vlog in a car. So like I was trying to say before my phone went flying to the floor, my papers came back and I'm negative. I don't have COVID. Yes. So I'll just continue to quarantine Jordan to a corner of the house and Jason and I will just really try not to catch it. It's time to bring my husband his lunch. I'm gonna mask up now. So Jace is napping and I know I just tested negative on my COVID test but for some reason my throat's starting to hurt. Um, it started off with being very dry this morning and now it's sore. Hopefully it's nothing but who knows, you know, I'm living with somebody who has COVID. It's not your birthday. Good morning everyone. It's the next day 
and I'm not wearing any makeup. I'm in my bathrobe because I feel awful. Um, it's very painful to talk. And then I have a headache as well, but I don't have a fever or anything. So when I went to get my test done yesterday, they gave me two tests. One rapid test, which came back negative in 15 minutes, and then they gave me another test that the results will come back in five days. And those ones tend to be a little more accurate. So if I do have COVID, I'll know in five days. So I managed to do my hair and makeup because I have to get going through the day. I can't just lounge around. I have a two year old and my husband is locked away in a room and I have to care for him too and bring him meals. So I need to look good, to feel good, to try to get through the day. But the bathrobe is staying on, okay? Hello everybody. So it's now a week later since the last clip you just saw. I did indeed come back positive. My rapid test came back negative, but then I got the results of the five day test a couple days later and it was positive. And at that point I felt horrible. I was like, there's just no way I'm turning on that camera and putting on any kind of makeup because I was just really beat from the virus. So here I am a week later, just starting to feel a little bit better. It was really hard. I mean, the house, first of all, I could not keep up on chores. I just felt so horrible. I could barely stand up straight. And so there was dirt just covering the floor. There was so much dirt on the floor that my son would take his little mop and just brush around the dirt back and forth, having fun with it. Like it was some kind of game. And the dishes were just getting out of control and piled up and oh my goodness, it's just, it was so hard and my husband was sick too so it was also hard for him to help me with the chores so man it was a nightmare but it's almost over we're in isolation for two more days and then we are free my son never got sick and here's to hopefully him not getting sick once i found out i was positive for covid my husband came out of the bedroom and we just all hung out together because we were both sick i mean what was the point of having one of us isolate in a bedroom. I mean, either way, my son's caregiver was going to be someone with COVID. I don't know what I would have done without the existence of ibuprofen. It's the only reason I was able to get through the day. My legs ached, my arms, my feet, my back, just every muscle ached so bad. And the second those six hours were up after I popped a ibuprofen, they started aching horribly again. So even in the middle of the night, I had to get up at that six hour mark and take a couple more ibuprofens. And at this point, all I have is a stuffy nose, as you can hear, and a cough, which can be pretty relentless at times, but it's a little better today. So in two days from now, we will have been in isolation for a total of 15 days. Now, I only have to stay in isolation for 10 days, of having COVID, but I was also isolating when my husband had COVID and I didn't test positive until five days later. So that's why I'm in isolation for 15 days. And the first thing I'm doing when I get out of isolation is I'm driving to an ice cream shop and I'm getting like the biggest ice cream cone you've ever seen. Like I want it to be the size of my head. Well, thank you for making it this far into the video and I hope that if you're out there watching this that you don't get COVID. And if you already have COVID, I hope that you have a quick recovery. And I just hope you don't get hit as hard as I did. I felt like I got hit by a two by four. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't yet. Thank you for watching today and I will see you guys soon.